can someone ask china to take a break because we already have got a new model from a very big research unit quen which is part of alibaba this is not the deep seek r1 kind of a model not a thinking or reasoning model this is the normal llm that you have got except there is a difference in the architecture of how dense transformers are and how this model which uses mixture of experts in this video i'm going to show you everything that i know about this particular model and then how you can access this model my only gripe is that there is no information about this model becoming open in the future or currently i hope this is a genuine mistake otherwise this might set a wrong precedence because you can release a lot of models get a good pr and then never release the open flagship model this is what exactly happened with companies like mistral stable diffusion and i hope this is not how the direction that we are moving into but keeping that aside for now uh, we have quen 2.5 max this is a brand new model that was released a few hours back in fact the person who released it said that uh, there is fireworks happening outside uh, celebrating chinese new year and i'm actually writing this tweet releasing this particular model the way you can access this model right now is using their own platform called quen chat which i will quickly show you how to use it and then you have got api access which is also within their own platform and then they have given a demo on hugging face which is also connected to their own api not an open model anywhere so now what is this quen 2.5 mod max model this is a model that is based on an exploration or research according to them to see how much they can scale mixture of experts model for those who are completely new to this universe we have got a transformers which uses a technical attention and this transformer has got the lot of parameters in it and at some point people realized that as you pump in more data more compute increase the size of the model so more compute more data increase the size of the model the model would naturally have better accuracy or better performance that is what they are saying that the data size and model size can lead to significant improvement in model intelligence and this is something that i think back in the day elias sutskever and a bunch of others uh, pioneered and one of the biggest things i think open ai proved the world is that this is completely possible now they want to do the same thing with mixture of experts model in transformers you have like two big categories i would say one is like the dense model so where you have got like the neural networks that are dense the second one is a mixture of expert model where every token every word that goes into it goes to at least like two tokens three token four token i'm sorry every token goes into like two experts three experts four experts and this is how the mixture of experts model work so even though you have got a lot of parameters not all parameters are active for every single token and this is one of the reason why it is easier to deploy a mixture of experts model and there a lot of advantages are there so now what quen team has done is that they have done uh, to taken created quen 2.5 max this is a large scale moe mixture of experts model so again very surprising is they have not disclosed what is the size of the model there is no information about model parameters rather they said this has been trained over 20 trillion tokens this is trained over 20 trillion tokens i mean i still remember like probably 7 8 months back when we first got a model that was trained on 1 trillion data that was like a huge news and this is like 20 trillion tokens and after that there was like post training with sft supervised fine tuning and rlhf reinforcement learning with human feedback and uh, they have just uh, released the benchmarks in terms of benchmarks there are two kinds of benchmarks one is the instruct instruct model the fine tune model the second one is the base model again for those who are new a base model is the first model that comes out of the model training process which is ideally supposed to fill in the next word it's just like fill in the next word or predict the next word an instruction fine tune model is a model that is fine tuned for uh, it to answer questions that human ask like for example in a base model you can go say write a joke about elon musk uh, and you put a colon and then it will just like maybe fill in the next line but what you can do with uh, an instruction fine tune model is you can go and ask a question can you write a joke about elon musk and then it can answer you what is the capital of india it can answer you so but in the first one you would say the capital of india is and then it would fill in as new delhi so this is how you would prompt these two models so this is the benchmark for the base model and the, this is the benchmark for instruction fine tune model and as you can see here quen 2.5 max compared with deep seek v3 which itself is like a very huge 
and one of the leading industry open models llama 3.5405 billion parameter instruction model gpt 40 and claude 3.5 sonnet so we've got all these five models and you can see on a lot of these really good quality benchmarks without a lot of let's say benchmark leakage or um, you know a pollution so this model is doing good arena hard this is 89.4 which is much better than clot 3.5 sonnet in terms of coding life code bench this is almost on par with clot 3.5 sonnet in terms of mmlu pro this is a slightly one level below gpt 40 and clot 3.5 sonnet and in terms of live bench this is once again uh, much much better than clot 3.5 sonnet in terms of the base model, the model is uh, stunningly better than every other, uh, you know, model in this particular case, Quent 2.5, 72 billion parameter model, DeepSeq V3 model and Llama 3.5405 billion parameter model. What does it mean? It means if you were to use this model for any fine tuning purpose, whether it is style, whether it is a particular domain, whether it is like uh, coding, then most likely the fine tuned version of this model would do better than any other existing model. Like I said, even though we don't have any information about whether this model will become open or not. And there are like uh, for, uh, other information that they've given how you can access the API. Like I said, there is no information about whether this model will be open or not. So if you were to use the model, you can go use Quen chat. Just remember, like, I mean, there has been a lot of discussion around China and your data storing being stored in China. If you are going to use this, it's highly likely that it is going to be stored in Alibaba server, which is in China. With that information, I mean, I don't do it for American companies. Maybe I should start doing it for American companies, but just an information that you should know. So I'm going to like ask very simple questions that we are kind of used to asking at this point. The way you can use this is you can go here, click here and then select Quinn 2.5 max model. We don't have information about um, what is the size, uh, the co context window, no information. We just have to go chat at this point. It's got a feature called artifacts, which is like Claude artifact where you can ask something and it will also render and then give it to you. Okay. So I, I'm going to just go ahead and then ask a very simple HTML, CSS, JavaScript page. So I want a simple landing, landing page, um, inspired by shad CN UI. And this is for a company that I'm starting a little coder labs, which can help you set up AI in your own company that's it I'm not going to give a lot of information and let's see how it is going to do so right now there is no html css javascript and uh, this is kind of like every company's dream at this point lovable data button and uh, tons of other companies trying to do the same thing where you can go design your first landing page using this kind of software now we are seeing if we can do this with quen 2.5 max model and another reason i'm asking this question is because I find this to be good with coding in terms of benchmarks. So I think this is like a natural, um, natural direction for us to understand if this is good with coding, which is what plot 3.5 sonnet still like the best performance there. So the thing has been done here. You can see the artifacts is done. Okay. We have got a very basic, it's slightly too basic, I would say. And, uh, this is the website that we have got. Am I impressed? Um, I wouldn't say if I'm necessarily impressed with this particular, uh, design here. Maybe did I say simple? Yeah, I said simple. Um, this, the design is too boring. Can you make it beautiful? Something like framer and some animation and stuff. Okay. I think for a very large mixture of expert model, um, the fact that this can load in that this particular speed is quite impressive. This is one thing that I've been, uh, wondering about the deep seek r1 model as well it's not just that they, they, they built the model it is also a matter of fact that they've deployed the model and able to serve at scale while claude servers are you know like claude is always sending this message that claude is busy and all those things so it's it's pretty interesting to see what is happening there and um, yeah so we have to now just wait for it to load completely i think after i appreciated about the speed looks like uh, the speed has gone down a little bit and um, the artifact is done now let's see okay okay this is good maybe my prompting was not like great so wow this is good uh, we have got some animations here and there we have got like a gradient based landing page which is like at this point uh, the default of internet ai a consulting custom solution seamless integration good very good 
So I'm going to go ahead, ask a different question. Now, again, by default, it changes to 2.5 plus, change it to max. I'm going to say, can you help me create a flappy bird game in Python? Um, make sure you don't use any images. I just want to copy and paste the code and run it. Okay, so once again, a very simple one. Uh, should be easy for this system, but I want to make sure that if we take the code, put it in our Python environment, can it run zero shot, like without making any changes? This is uh, one thing that I've been um, interested in checking with these agents, because when you tell anybody that they can use computers for coding, um, sometimes it's very hard. Okay, it's using cursors, cursors. Stop it. Please use Pygame. I should have said this before, maybe. Okay, it's changing it, a simple implementation it's saying. Okay, so instead of um, curses, it's using Pygame, because I've got Pygame already installed, so I don't have to install a new library, but again, um, so as you can see here, it is giving me the instruction how to do it. So I was saying that I want to check these systems to run code zero shot. I might actually put together a different tutorial because this is one thing that you should understand that very critical. Uh, for uh, building any um, code editor agentic system because you don't want to sit and debug these codes for a very long time. You just want them to use. Otherwise, it's fairly easier for you to copy code from Stack Overflow or somewhere and then paste it here. I think since the moment I appreciated the speed of it, um, it is kind of slow or maybe like people in America like figured out that there is one more Chinese model. So I'm going to just copy the code. It gives me instruction how to run this. Uh, I'm not going to, okay, we have controls as well. Press space bar to make it, okay. So I'm going to bring my uh, Visual Studio code, okay. And uh, I'm going to create a new file and paste it I'm save it as a Python file. I'm going to say flappy bird and I'm going to just run it. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Is the score getting updated? Oh man. Okay, there was some error when I hit it. Let me run this again. Please don't, please don't. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm bad with this game. But also when uh, it hit the pipe, uh, it kind of threw an error, which shouldn't have happened in the case. So uh, I'm not going to test further. I'm going to leave it to you if you want to test it. Not a lot of information. I was quite excited about this model, uh, but it is also kind of um, frustrating without knowing is this model closed model, open model, if there is any plan for open. I'm not saying every company should open the model, uh, if, but if somebody has established themselves as a, a flag bearer of open source, which they did not claim themselves, which we believe, it should continue. And that is what I believe. Let's see what is going to happen. I'm definitely looking forward for a technical report and if the model will be open or not. But for now, you can go enjoy the new 2.5x model, which also proves the point that mixture of export models can be scaled and could be an interesting future in deep learning. See you in another video. Happy prompting.